What does it mean to create a campus, a metro station, or a performing center? During the pandemic, I worked from home, and the thing I missed the most was the, the casual encounter with my colleagues in the hallway. It was talking to them at the coffee machine. So as architects, I think we have to ask ourselves, how do, ma do we make this easier? My name is Carole Charrier. I'm going to present you our project. This is Emmanuel and David. They founded the studio in 1994. For them, our work is a teamwork. And um, they like to collaborate with others. I think for many years, their goal has been to bring people together. They have a sort of obsession for serendipity. Serendipity means a lucky accident, making a discovery by chance. So for us architects, the question is, how do we make this easier? How do we make the environment for this to happen? For philosophy, philosophers to meet their peers, exchange ideas and find new ones. The first project I will present to you is the Atrium of Jussieu, which is the University of Science in Paris. The existing building was not very well connected, so we tried to make the connection more efficient. We created a series of escalators because we had to circulate people and circulate ideas. We had to distribute thousands of students during rush hours. But we rotated the escalators to make sure path would cross and people would meet. We also created a, a set of furniture to allow students to work within the atrium while still having a sense of intimacy. As you can see on the, the, right, the right picture, there are a, a series of openings in the walls of the atrium so all the students can see each other and see what's going on in the atrium. The second project is the, is the cultural space of uh, Beaumont. As you can see, it is located in a, an area with a low density. So to make sure there is an interiority and uh, um, a feeling of uh, intimacy within the space, we had to create a sort of sculpture with red metal mesh, which is inspired by a tunnel, which is like the, um, the regional landscape had a tunnel made of trees. Another project is the Metro Line 15 from the Grand Paris Express. So it takes place underneath the earth. And the question is, how do you connect dots? How do you make the commuter's journey interesting? So we created a series of uh, pathways crossing to make sure paths would cross and people would meet. The Cité du Théâtre is a project we designed with the Spanish architect Nieto Soberano. It is located in Paris near uh, Renzo Piano building for the, the court. And it is the, um, the existing workshop for the sets of the Opera House. So once refurbished, the, all the workshop, all the warehouses will become a place for three very famous theater institutions in France. So it will host performance halls, but also a series of uh, communal spaces to make sure people will be able to work together. So there is a garden on the roof, and there is also this great uh, internal space that will link all the function, all the performance halls together. Finally, the Eco Campus is uh, the project I worked on for the last couple of years. It is set uh, close to Paris, and it's made of six buildings. So the particularity of the Eco Campus is that it's a school for builders, for plumbers, for electricians and painters. So what does it mean to create a school and a campus for builders specifically? We designed six buildings as planned as the master plan, but we linked them under the same roof. We designed a roof in ETFE to create an atrium and uh, an internal street. 
So the internal street works are great for students to meet uh, during breaks or lunchtime, for teachers to talk together and exchange ideas, of course. And the atrium creates a sort of uh, centrality within the project. So all the teachers meet there, all the students meet there to, to hang out. They know where to go. We chose to keep the materials as raw as possible because for us it was important that the building could also show to the students how construction works, how everything works. We chose simple materials such as wood, concrete, bricks, but we tried to make an effort with the details. So we designed everything very closely with the contractors and the builders to make sure the, the details would be enough for, for the students, would be a good example. So I think the atrium and the rue intérieur that you see here really work well with the, this idea of connection of serendipity. I think it sums up everything we try to make with our projects. We try to find a focus point um, a street or an atrium to make sure people know where to go when they're in the building. They know where to connect. So I want to thank Platform for bringing us together here today and I'm looking forward to talk to you all and I hope we'll find some serendipity.